Yo, what's going on, peeps? It's the man on the wire. <clears throat> okay, so if you've listened, if you've watched any of my videos, you'd probably recognize that my voice sounds different. I managed to afford some new gear, and I've decided to make a lot more videos um, on specific things, how to implement payments, how to implement a certain documentation for say a library or a feature just like small things you know what i'm saying um so i'm starting off with pay gate um, so two weeks back i was uh, building an online store for this company and they wanted uh customers to be able to pay online obviously because it's an it's an an online store and I thought of using PayFast, but then a lot of my friends have used PayGate before. So for the sake of references and for the sake of, you know, learning something new, I thought, yeah, let me use PayGate. So basically PayGate kind of works like PayFast if you've used PayFast before. If you've never, then it's just a thing that allows you to accept online payments. And this is their website. You can, this is what they say about themselves and they are used by they use in south africa uh, africa south america and you can see the kind of banks like absa standard bank so you can accept payments from all these kind of guys and whatnot but what we're mostly interested in is the documentation so we're going to be using payweb3 and sort of like implementing all this documentation and uh, to be able to accept payments okay so when we're done with all of this this is what we're gonna have um, so just quick quick um, so paygates works with three endpoints one you initiate you initiate your payment okay when you initiate you send these these values they give you they give you your paygate ID uh, your reference could be your name, the amount, the currency, and all these kind of stuff. Some are mandatory, some are optional. Okay. And you also send a checksum of the values you sent. So here they have it here. And then they send you back a... So what they return back to you is uh, a pay request ID. And then your second request not your second request so it redirects you to this url and from this url you are met with the screen that looks something like this all right depending on the kind of payment math options you chose and then you are able to pay on this right once you pay it redirects you back to your application based on this return url okay and then from there just to verify your transaction worked or i don't know if you want to store in more details you make a query to this endpoint you pass in the values that you passed initially and you also pass the checksum and the pay request id and they send you back uh so this is the query so you send the packet id reference checksum and yada yada and this is what they send you back your packet id the stuff pay requests the results code the transaction status id and basically all the info about the transaction that way you can verify for sure that it went through or if it did not want to go through what was the problem okay enough explaining so here's the demo and if i click pay the first process initiate the second process is redirect of which i pay so obviously this is a test so i pay and after paying it's saying that so i submit i'm just gonna hit save and then it should redirect me back to my application so it's saying here my payment status was declined okay that's good 
Now, I want one that is not declined. Let's go again. So I used 23, now I'm going to use 15. So if I go, I'm just going to show you here the database. Uh, let's do that. You can do it. Uh, and it is this one. So test should be good. Yep. Okay, so open the tables. So I'm storing all this data in the transactions table. Okay, while well, that's doing its thing, let's complete this one. So we say next. So I've, I've, I've used like two test cards here. The first one is the payment is declined. The second one is the payment is accepted or approved. So I want to show you the data right now. Okay, so this is what the database looks like. So this is the transaction that was declined. The status code is two and this is the result code the reason it was declined is because insufficient the, all of my funds are insufficient the second one was approved here's the result code and the author was done and complete okay so this is what we want to do um, so on the next tutorial or on if i decide to phase it out on the next phasing out we will be jumping into the code and actually doing this thing awesome